Okay, so you have Blockly installed on your iPad and you're ready to connect to your Dash robot. Tap on the Blockly app, it's going to open up here, and there's a tutorial I'll try to run you through, but it's actually not taking me into that right now. So I'm just going to show you. I clicked on the three lines. This is what you want to see at the beginning, and you want to click on Create New. Then I'm going to pick Blank Project and hit the Create button. So here's my programming. Now, if I'm going to program my robot, I have to connect to it. This plus will, let, will help to seek out any dashes that are in Bluetooth range. Right now on the robot, I'm going to push the power button, which will turn on the dash robot. OK, so there's a couple of cute things it does do when it starts up but we're going to be doing some coding, okay. so let's get started. So at the beginning, drive is movement. So I have all these different choices I can make, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a forward block. Now 50 represents 50 centimeters. I'm going to change that to 60 centimeters, and the speed I'm going to change to slow. Then I'm going to click the button to go ahead. Also, I might click on look and have the robot look up and then look right. So let's see what that looks like when I run that program. And take the robot now and position it in front of this box. Now I'm going to hit the run button right here. And you'll notice it's automatically offering the only dash that's in the area. And I'm going to tap on that button now. And I'm connected. And once my robot's finished moving around, I'll press play. So my robot followed the program. Now, I might want to do something more advanced. So I could always pull out a control block, and I could say, if dash has an obstacle, and then these are the choices behind. What do I want Dash to do? Well, at that point, I can put something in here. So I'm going to put move forward 60 slow. And I'm going to change the beginning of my program to have 30 centimeters slow backwards be the initial part of the program. So when I start, move backwards for 30 centimeters at a slow speed. Look up and look right. Now, if dash senses an object behind, dash will move forward 60 centimeters slow. So let's see that in action. Okay. And I'm noticing that dash did not move forward. So if you look back at the program, if dash senses an object behind, dash will move forward. So dash did not sense an object behind. Let's run the same program again and see what happens. This time, dash sensed something behind and moved forward. Good job. Thank you.